Welcome to Flyers TV. We're a bit disappointed here in Kirkcaldy tonight after a 4-1 defeat from Edinburgh Capitals. I have with me Stephen Lynch, uh, uh, Flyers coach, and head coach Todd Dutiam. Stephen, a bit disappointing tonight. I mean, after the first period, one and one up, and with a bit more luck, we could again, we could have gone further ahead in that during that spell. But the second period, we just didn't seem to turn up at all. Yeah, you're right. It was disappointing tonight. I thought, yeah, we did have a good first period. Um, I think maybe. We looked a little bit lethargic in the second and third and um, never really got the, the luck that we could have done with or the breaks that, w that would have helped us. And um, Yeah, we'd have pulled the goalie at the end, but it kind of backfired on us. and It was a tough loss. Was that? We, we had a good bit of momentum going lately um, with wins over Dundee and Edinburgh. We were looking to carry that on tonight, but sadly it just didn't see what happened for us. I suppose that's the problem when you take, you take that risk when you do pull the goalie, but... Uh, it made it 4-1 with the two empty net goals and it definitely wasn't a 4-1 game. No, it wasn't a 4-1 game, no. Like I say, you do take the risk when you pull the goalie, but it's a risk that you you, you know you have to take. You're a, goal, you're a goal down with a minute to go and, um, you know, it backfired tonight. But, um, you know, we'll bounce back. We've got a big game again tomorrow against Dundee, which we'll be looking to get a good rest tonight, a good night's sleep and get ready to go again tomorrow. Well, as we speak just now, Dundee are down 3-1 to Belfast up in, up in Dundee. Uh, the importance of tomorrow's game is there for everybody to see. I mean, it's one we really need to take something from uh, to, to, to overtake them in the league uh, with a game in hand so that I'm sure the guys will be up for it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the guys know that if we want to make a playoff spot, we have to be winning these games. Tomorrow's game's massive. You know, we have to be catching Dundee, we have to be catching Hull and Edinburgh uh, if, we, if we want to start climbing the table and getting the playoff spot. So I'm sure the guys will all come focused tomorrow and we'll, um, we'll put in the performance that we need to, to hopefully get the win. Willie Nicholson left the game at the end of the second period. Is there any news on him? Yeah, it looks like Willie suffered another. Well, the early signs are that Willie's possibly suffered another concussion. He was a little bit um, had a little bit of blood vision on the bench and was kind of mumbling, not really 100% sure where he was or what he was doing. So um, the, the the medical guys in between the second and third period were you know they, they ran a few tests on him. I think he's away to hospital now to get some a, fur, a further look. Yeah, certainly having a good luck. Um, on Matt Cohen, have you any information on him just now? Matt's week to week. You know, it's, you know, it's a type injury. You just can't rush these things. You, you can't bring a guy back too early just in case. You know, it, this, the same thing happens again. Matt's, from what I gather, he's feeling better, uh, but he's still a little bit away from being ready to play it. Yeah. Uh, Stephen, thanks very much. I appreciate it and good luck tomorrow night. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Todd, disappointing tonight. We had a good chance there to catch and overtake Dundee, but it uh, was not to be. First period, I said to Stephen Lynch earlier that we were a bit of luck, could have gone in three goals up, but in the second, I don't think we appeared at all. Yeah, I think that was definitely um, a missed opportunity for the hockey club. I think that, uh, you know, we're kind of on a two-game two, two game winning streak. And, uh, you know, you, you hit the, the nail on the head there. I think that a little bit of complacency uh, snuck into the game. And, um, you know, next thing we know, we found our way 2-1 down. Regained our composure. And it was just too little too late. You know, we had two or three really good chances that just trickled around the goal line. Our goalie made a great save. and But that, that's what happens when you don't turn up for 60 minutes. Where we have been lately, I think, the last three weeks, yeah. I think this club's really turned a corner. I think, um, you know, we're playing a lot better. We're eliminating goal, the goals against. And uh, you know what? Uh, just frustrating for me. Uh, we just keep going down an injury. But maybe because we're we're going with a little bit of a shoestring lineup just because of our injuries and people missing and stuff like that. But uh, I'm putting more stress on these guys. But, you know, once again, we lose Willie Nicholson tonight. So, I mean, now we're down to four, four D-men again, which is, uh, you know, a very frustrating position for me to be in. Tomorrow, the game at Dundee is even bigger now. Uh, it was always going to be a big game, but uh, um, I guess the guys will just have to shake themselves down and be ready for it. I think so. And, I mean, now you got two clubs fighting for survival. I think it was nice to... Give ourselves a, a great chance to lift ourselves off the bottom of the table, something somewhere we've been all season, and uh, still going to try and use that as motivation tomorrow night. I think that the guy's got a lot of pride in there. And I mean, you know what? I, uh, I I'd like to touch on the fact that I've, I, I am playing some of these guys an incredible amount, and, and and we do need we do need an import back in this lineup, and uh, you know even possibly you know, identifying what, what's going to happen with Matt Cohen um, and looking to that. If, if we want to be serious playoff contenders, but I, th I think that um, as a coach, certainly pleased 
um, by the effort here over the Christmas period because I think it's I think it's been a good period for this hockey club. Mm. Um, you, you're dealt a crushing blow really um, with the departure of Matt Sadar. That came as a shock to everybody. Uh, nobody was expecting that. Um, do you want to say anything about that just now? Yeah, I think I won't go into too much depth about it. I mean, I, I believe the club's going to be uh, issuing uh, an official statement on that. But, uh, you know, just another frustrating uh, lapse for us. Uh, we were just turning a corner here. And, uh, you know, like I've been here for 13, 14 years, and uh, we, we've never had a, le- a player leave um, to go to another place before. So that was a bit of new territory for me as a coach. And um, you know what? Day and age where... You know, agents are, are contacting players under contract. Uh, you know, that grates me a wee bit because I know that as an ice hockey club and an organization, um, you know, we'll always honour the contracts the other way. You know what I mean? I bet if I went behind an agent's back and and uh, and talked directly to one of his players, they wouldn't be too happy about it. You know what I mean? But, hey, hockey's become a business now, and all I can do is try to make this place as attractive as it can be for the players that come here and you know to tell you the truth we've had a lot of great players over the years and a lot of players that have stayed for years and years and years I think that this year is a transitional period for us and I think that um, if we can garner some success here out of the second half of the season um, you know we can build into future years here and uh, you know what we probably don't have these issues you know Fife is a great place and it may, maybe I said it wrong there a little early, try to sell the place to the guys because the place sells itself. I mean, it's a great place to play. Team's struggling a bit right now, but we're, we're you know, we are getting better. And uh, you know what? I think that um, hopefully we can put this behind us. Right. Um, the last two games have been fantastic crowds. We've been under 2,000 uh, for tonight again uh, and the previous game. It just shows you the fans are desperate for success here. And if we or when we finally get our winning streak going, uh, the crowds will turn out, there's no doubt about it, they're hockey mad here. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, those crowds there remind me of, you know, my BNL days, and, um, you know, the travel and support we took to Edinburgh and the noise of the building, I mean, that, that, that's, uh, that's part of the big reason that um, yeah, it's a special place to play, because, I mean, you got that many people cheering on a, a, just about a last place hockey club, but a club that's getting better. Um, this is a hockey town, and mm-hmm. just goes to show you if you put a decent product out on the ice, uh, people respond to it. So hopefully we can, like I said, get a lot more wins for these folk and uh, give them something to cheer about. Now I know you're looking to bring in a top line forward uh, to play Sidal, replace Sidal. Sorry, um, any news on that at the moment? Or? Well, I mean, this was. Uh, this was blow just the other day. So, you know, what we've done is we've kind of all hands on deck. We've, we've tried to go to all our contacts and, uh, and, and just try to locate the right guy for the club. You know what I mean? A, it has to be somebody who wants to be here. I mean, it's easy to throw names out there and say this guy, this guy, this guy, but the guy has to want to come. And B, he has to be the right guy for the hockey club that's going to bring, you know, exactly what we need is leadership. And, uh, well, not net leadership, but leadership certainly by playing out on the ice. And certainly, you know, like in an offensive threat, and uh, that's something that, um, I mean, can't happen quick enough for me. So I think that, uh, you know, uh, with the Maxwell thing, it was drawn out by a visa. Hopefully we don't have those issues this time, and it just happens here in the next week or so. I mean, I'd be delighted if that happens. I mean, uh, but certainly I'll be looking. So Good. Now I know um, the fans are going away a bit disappointed tonight, but uh, we've got a big game tomorrow, and they'll be there in their hundreds tomorrow night again. So, um I'm I'm sure everybody's looking forward and I wish you all the best of luck in Dundee tomorrow. Yeah, thanks Alan. Thank you.